it was time for me to renew my certification. So as you can see on my dashboard, I have several exams that I have passed and several certifications in Microsoft and also in AWS. There's also Google and Fortinet and others, but they, they do not appear on the Credly site. But anyway, I had to renew my Azure Solutions Architect Expert certification. As you may or may not know, these expire every year. So you always have to do a new assessment. The wonderful thing about it is that these assessments are now free. So every year, six months before it expires, you have to do your reassessment. For me, it expires on November. But starting in May, I am able to take the exam. And these exams are available online. And they provide all the training material for you. And that's why I emphasize that they are free. You can achieve this certification fully, even from the get-go, with free training provided from Microsoft. To me, that is just amazing. And this time around, I did not have to study much as I am day in, day out in the Azure dashboard for work and configuring different environments. So it's very simple. As you know, I believe in hands-on approach. If you just pass the test because you read questions, read books, read information, and you did all that without any hands-on, then to me, that's just the worthless certification. I'd rather you get a low score on your exam, but have all the hands-on knowledge. And as you know, one thing that I do not like about the current exams is that none of them are hands-on. It used to be, when I first got my Azure certification, that a lot of the exam was hands-on. You were actually on an Azure dashboard, and you had your question requirements. So it would tell you to configure so-and-so and this uh, solution and how did you do this how, how do you do that and you didn't answer the question you actually had to build it and once you built it you submitted that answer and it was graded i don't know how they did it but for a while now they've removed all those requirements there's nothing that's hands-on it's all questions so you know i don't think the exam is all that anymore but if you can work hands-on in the Azure dashboard and that's great that's what you need to do and if we look at the training provided by them and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel I will continue to try to make videos with work and studying for exams and preparing and creating labs it's very hard for me to push out content but I'm doing my best anyway so here is the dashboard for the Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert. And if we just scroll a little bit, we'll be able to see what is required. And once again, two ways to prepare. Online, free, my favorite word, free. And it gives you the modules that you need to study to pass. And if you're hands-on, like I said, you do not need to study a lot as you could see this is my actual dashboard so i've studied on this module the first one i haven't even started the second one i did about 47 percent this one i did 70 percent and then this one i also did 47 percent but it's just because if you're doing it hands-on constantly there's only a, a few minor things that you might need to review it, it might be like which one costs less or which database solution provides, um, you know, I don't know. I can't come up with an accurate example, but it could be like, you know, which one provides you five gazillion terabytes of data versus one that only provides 10 gig or something like that. But the idea is that you go through this training and it should be sufficient for you to pass if you have the hands-on experience that's the most important thing but if you go to the instructor 
lead and you see the word it's paid and we go forward on this let's see where this will take us So this brings us up to information that we would need if we wanted to pay for our training. Now, to me, this is not the best solution. I feel if you need this type of training instructor led, then you won't be great at Azure. You'll just pass the test. Insignificant. But that's my opinion. And I'm nobody. But if we click on find a learning partner, it'll provide us with the list of those that provide this type of training. Now, in the past, I have taken instructor led training, and these were paid by the company. And this was way back when, when I used to think that there was some value in this. And there might still be. I just. You know, these classes are four or five days. What are you going to learn in four or five days? I mean, I don't think it's, it's worth it, and I'll show you why. So, and they, they all pretty much charge the same prices. One that I've been to in the past, a long time ago, they've been around forever, is Global Knowledge. So if I go to their site, so if I come to their site here, it'll show you the training that they provide. And since we're looking for Azure the Solutions Architect, it'll be the 305. And there you could see it. What do you see? How much is it? A whopping $2,600 for a four day live classroom or virtual classroom it's live it's instructor led but it's twenty six hundred dollars and you will not come out of there being an expert there is no way no way even if you spent 24 hours a day for four days you will not be an expert and here are the requirements. And this is why I say that after four days, you will not be an expert. It says candidates for the Azure Solutions Architect Expert Certification should have subject matter expertise. SME. If you haven't heard the phrase SME, do not take hands on training. Subject matter expertise in designing cloud and hybrid solutions that run on Microsoft Azure, including compute, network, storage, monitoring, and security. What is my recommendation to you? If you have $2,500 to spend on a four-day class, you could take $200, $300. And actually, you do not even have to take it out of your pocket. Open up a new Azure account, and you will get money for free for 30 days. In 30 days, you will still not be an expert, but you will know way more than you will know in four days of classroom training. And then start plugging away at it. Start building storage solutions. Start building networking solutions. Something in security. Uh, redundant solutions you're getting the money for free you have to do it hands-on and the idea is the the reason that I speak this way is I'm trying to help you not just to land the job but to keep it you have to be able to perform the job is not going to give you a b c d answers it's not going to say hey John oh, we need to provide a storage solution do you think A, B, C, or D is better? Actually, when you get the job, they expect you to present the A, B, C, D solutions. That's what is required from the certification. 
that you bring to the table the expertise to provide two, three, four solutions and be able to explain why one is better than the other. If they say, well, we have cost constraints, so we can't go with the best solution, what would be the next best solution? You should be able to provide that. But at the same time, they expect, they most likely expect you to be a hands on person and be able to build it and say, hey, here is the solution. Here is what it would look like, and this would cost you so much per month. And if we go to the next step and implement these other options, then we could save 20, 30, 40, 50%. And that means right there that your certification is worth it. And speaking of certifications, before I finish, just like to mention that I've been on a certification spree. Unfortunately, a lot of cer certifications expire around the same time, which is kind of a pain in the neck. But I like the fact that I have to keep renewing my knowledge. And this is on a daily basis. Once you are in the trenches, you will realize that you have to keep educating yourself you have to keep up the knowledge and out of the three cloud providers azure and m365 are the ones that change the most it just changes and changes and i have to say i love azure i do but I can't stand that they change things and move things around without reason. If you've been around M365 for several years, you will know they move things around for no apparent reason. That's just my take on it. But anyway, just want to let you know I've achieved other certifications this past month. And I will make a video on them. But I want you to guess what certification did I get? This is a certification that I had in the past, but I let it expire because I was not feeling it. I was just was not feeling the path that the company was taking in the certifications and the cost for them. But because I've been in the trenches with the products, with this type of environment, and the company has changed their methodologies in the exams, I decided to take it. So if you post in the comment, and I want you all to guess what certification that I guess that I get. I will make a video on it soon. Well, thank you for joining me.